Hey, it's Greg Giff here with another exciting episode of um, Real Progression 1. Uh, this is a real over, over, realism overhaul mod uh, that makes uh, KSP uh, a simulator. So in the last episode, we launched our first WAC Corporal. We got into space, did our first launch. So now, uh, if we go into Mission Control, we have uh, two uh, rocket-based missions available to us. That uh, is the sounding rocket, so they want us to get it to a certain um, elevation, and that is 45,000 uh, meters, as well as cross the uh, Carmen line, which is a the Carmen line is the line uh, at which the speed necessary to maintain altitude via lift is the same as the speed required to orbit. So once you're above this imaginary line, um, and it's considered the dividing line between at the atmosphere and space, so. Once you're above this imaginary line, if you're going fast enough, uh, you will stay in orbit. And you won't necessarily be pulled down back to the Earth. So we're going to go ahead and build us a rocket that can reach this 100,000. So we did have our little uh, WAC Corporal um, rocket available to us. And we're going to beef it up a little bit, add a little kick motor, and hopefully go to space. All right. so getting a little bit more into realism overhaul um, our engines have burn time uh, we didn't worry about this a whole lot because uh, we we're just trying to just get up into space so let's move Kerbal Engineering over to the side here so this is the statistics on the Aero B rocket and they're the same for both styles uh, one thing we want to look at uh, down here in test flight reliability is we want to find the WAC Corporal, we'll notice that it only has a burn rate of 50 seconds. And if we go as far as 130 seconds, we're going to have 100% failure. So we should be able to get 50 seconds. Any longer than that is our chances of failure goes up till we reach 130 seconds, and we will have a complete failure no matter what. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this off, and we're going to add a few more tanks until we get to um, that 50 second burn time. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this, uh, let's have some fuel in it. All right, so we're now at a minute 18 seconds. Uh, so we're using, uh, we got way too much burn time with our two tanks. So we're gonna take the utilization down um, on this tank to about 25 percent okay so we end up with a little bit of dead weight with that extra tank but it saves us in tooling costs which we talked about last episode so by not having to build another tank um, it, it is more cost effective to do it this way um, we could tool a half size tank uh, maybe uh, 500 um, uh, millimeters um, instead of the one meter size tank uh, but we're not going to do a whole lot of 380 millimeter size tanks uh, we're going to get into the 1.65 which is the uh, a4 and the uh, rd100 size and use that quite a bit more we'll be using the the uh, 380 millimeter from that point as uh, maybe little booster tanks but not a whole lot uh, outside of the uh, um, arrow b line of engines um, so that's uh, going to be pretty effective for us. Um, once we have a little bit more R&D on our engine, uh, so right now uh, from test flight, um, we have 2,500 uh, um, data units on that from the uh, 579 seconds of flight. Um, we can start pushing that envelope and go more towards that 130 seconds, but right now, uh, 50 seconds is pushing it since we've only had one flight. Um, so let's go ahead and so we've got a good rocket here and we want to make it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and add a kick stage. Um, so let's grab us a coupling and we're just going to go ahead and use the oh, let's get that other window out of the way. Uh, the Arrow B stack decoupler and then we'll go ahead and add a tiny tim booster and this is just a very quick potent 
punch to get us up in the air. Uh, it only lasts um, less than a second, and uh, then we can drop it off. But it's uh, a nice little overcome gravity and momentum, get that inertia going, and then we can, can fly up higher. All right, let's go ahead and add uh, some fins to our bottom stage. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to simulate uh, this rocket. See here, also I want to test, our cost went up a little bit, and I think it is the Tiny Tim, yeah, the Tiny Tim and and that uh, coupling basically doubled our cost. It's still not that much, 200 units and then another 301 in rollout cost, so 500, uh, still pretty cheap. Um, so we can simulate um, our rockets before we launch them to just make sure we got everything um, kosher with the way we want it. So we'll go ahead and simulate that, and that'll cost us a little bit of money uh, to do that, but um, it allows us to um, basically do things without the risk uh, involved with test flight and that, and so it'll give us a, a perfect scenario. So you notice up here, uh, it gets covered up by uh, remote tech, but there is our cost, and uh, as we're talking, that's ticking down, and I forgot to check your staging. Um, so let's go ahead and fix our staging while our, our money's ticking away. Um, we'll launch our engines, our booster, and decouple from the clamp all at once, and then we'll, one second later, drop off that booster. So let's go ahead and do that. Up we go, and the booster's done. Oh, we had a, a failure in that. Um, so this, uh, I think we talked about that a little bit in the uh, first episode, but if I didn't, these are high pressure tanks. Uh, momentum. Uh, all the fuel wants to fly forward once that thrust um, um, stops applying and that uh, unfortunately is why we had that failure there in our Aero B rocket because the uh, fuel was not in the back where it needed to be by the engine. It flew to the top of the tank uh, because I was not quick on the draw for uh, undocumented. So let's go ahead again. There we go. Okay. So, there we go. Our rocket is going up. And we'll speed this up a little bit. And let's just see what we reach for our altitude. So we want to break that uh, Carmen line. And uh, so we're shooting for 100,000. Um, if we can't break 100,000 with this rocket, we can... Oh, yeah, right there, 88, 89. So we can go ahead and push this engine just a little bit more. Um, and and we still have a lot of room in that tank. Maybe we'll push that up to a minute because we're very close. We're at 85 right now. Um, so let's uh, terminate the simulation. And then we'll put a little bit more fuel in this. We'll hopefully we'll be able to use it, but most likely we'll have an engine failure before that end. Um, but it, at least if we have the fuel there, so we're going to push that right up to hopefully a minute. Um, yeah, right there. And hopefully that's enough to get us over the line. If it's not, then we need to go back to the drawing board and try a couple of other things anyways. Um, so it's going to take us 28 days to build this. And, oh, I forgot to put some science in here. So this is our second rocket, so we do want to have a little bit of science here. Um, we're done with the testing. We're ready to start getting some uh, readings back. So let's go ahead, and we're going to throw in a barometer. These are really light parts. And so we can throw those in there. Um, there is this all-in-one unit built based on the aero bead. You can use that one as well. It's a little bit heavier than the barometer and thermometer, but it's it's all negligible. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, biological sample and the early film cameras, um, they're quite large parts, and uh, so that that's just not going to work on our little rocket. So we can't do those quite yet. We'll get into the... Uh, the um, a4 RD100 line of rockets and be able to do that. 
Okay, let's fix our staging because we forgot to do that. All right, 28 days. Go ahead and save, launch, and leave, and then we'll warp forward on that. And then we'll launch this rocket off. So this will be our second rocket. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get quite a bit of science. And in the next episode, we can uh, um, look at getting... Uh, using that putting that science to use and then getting into our uh, third rocket hopefully you guys enjoyed these uh, short little 15 minute videos if you'd like them longer let me know it's kind of hard to get more than just one rocket in um, in the 15 minutes uh, so there's a lot that goes into that um, so we can uh, go ahead and roll out and we'll have to pay that 216 okay and we're ready for lunch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, warp to the next morning. Uh, so this will be a daytime launch. There we go. So we can see what's going on. Uh, there's not a lot of controls for us to do. Uh, just uh, click on the science as it comes up. Uh, because this is, as we mentioned, a very basic rocket. We don't have any um, controls of any type uh, available at this point. Even the, the V2s, the A4s, and the RD100 style rockets only had uh, the most basic of uh, controls. Okay, just waiting for the physics and everything to settle here. And there we go, we got our uh, throttle up and launching and launching. There we go. So we're up and going. So hopefully uh, we'll get to use that full minute of uh, boost. Uh, but I imagine we'll probably have a, uh, a rocket failure before we reach that. But we can grab some science while we're going up. So we'll go ahead and do a pressure scan uh, and transmit that data back as well as a temperature scan. So, okay. Um, there we go. So our, uh, our apoapsis, there we go. We crossed the Carmen line. Um, so we'll be able to get that um, as well as... Uh, the uh, bunch of other stuff there so uh, we get past a uncrewed altitude of 40k uh, previously uh, we reached an uncrewed speed of a thousand two hundred meters uh, 900 meters uh, that was our vehicle being available we did uncrewed 50 uh, 40 as well 900 meters 30 20 610 350 and we did our first launch so look at all those achievements we got <laughs> there is our 50 uh, 60, 80, and uh, we'll be getting our uh, 100 in just a second here. So, uh, transmitting some more science back. Wait for those to transmit. There we go, crossing our uh, apogee, and now we're slowly falling back to Earth. And not so slowly anymore. Okay, looks like all that transmitted and is done. So we're going to go ahead and use the range safety again on this rocket and blow up into space so we don't have to deal. Um, most of the little parts should burn up and stuff. So I hope you appreciate, uh, enjoyed the episode and uh, appreciate you watching. And have a good day.